Welcome back. Most grateful for your time this morning. The Ghanaian Times says arrest, retrieval of guns, explosives. It's plot against presidency and aimed at destabilizing country. Information Minister Kujopo Nkrumah is uh, reported to have said. Volta Regional Minister urges Nkunya Alavanyo to sustain peace. Piag vows to police use of oil revenue and uh, court orders release of cops to rightful claimants. Hmm. The Finder newspaper, cash of um, arms, three bastard, they will face court today. Dr. Amin Adam constructs office complex for Karaga MPP and Achebe Boku Traditional Council demands apology from the NDC. Mothers call for free healthcare policy for children with complex health needs. The BNFT, 200 students benefit from Ake GMPC scholarship program and fix Western Railway line and roads to see respite. Except of NIB, uh, except NIB, all five GAT banks now fully capitalized. Piak to prosecute five cases of phantom projects. The Daily Guide. Coup plotters arrested, in parenthesis, uh, with AK-47s, pistols and explosives. Exposed corrupt officials don't uh, pocket evidence, Nana. And Mahama has no message, Gabi Otri Daku says. Ochiman gives NDC three days to apologize. And Otufo lands today. The big one is on the front page of the Daily Graphic that's gone digital. Election 2020 won't disturb peace. President Akufuado and Jospon Group reacts to takeover of Akwitia Mine. Graphic increases presence in digital space and security operation foiled attack on presidency information minister. My guest this morning on the side of the NDC is the uh, parliamentary aspirant for the Tamale Central constituency, a former deputy minister for trade, the comrade Mutala Mohammed and he said honorable. So you will still not be happy to be referred to as honorable? Well, I don't know how many times you expect okay. me. He is a witness, okay. even when we're in Parliament, I never wanted to. Okay. Let, let me let me quickly also percent. announce the presence of uh, lawyer Alexander Kwamna Fenyomaki, is the MP for the Future Constituency Council. Welcome. Good morning. Oh, he said he doesn't want the honourable title. He, he knows that. He wants comrade. Uh, well, Tuesday morning. How's it going, gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, we're all in white. Um, I don't know. An interesting little your, your is supposed to be a cool day. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. <laughs> anyway, so yesterday, the information minister put out a detail of uh, Dr. McPalm, who's been arrested with his associates, and they say, well, they've been putting together one and two to plot a coup. Uh, comrade, how does all of this come to you after 15 months of investigation and monitoring them? Finally did a swoop, and this is what we have. Well, let me say good morning to your cherished viewers and, of course, the good people of Tamale Central. Mm. And let me also say good morning to you and my brother. He's been a long while. Mm. I indicated to him that he has abandoned me. But that's understandable. That's what politics can, can do if you have a brother that you have abandoned mm. for the purposes of reasons. Perhaps when it comes to his turn, mm. he would explain why he has abandoned me. His brother. He only congratulated me this morning. Okay. And I know I am particularly concerned about certain people and their refusal to congratulate me if I was expecting that from MPP, not from my brother. And but, but he doesn't vote in your constituency. Oh yes, but he's a brother. He's okay. myself and he we have a history. Okay. We we were considered as <laughs> I don't want to talk about it's it okay. in the finance committee. It's, it's okay. <laughs> and permit me also to say a good morning to my one and only national vice chairman, okay. Chairman Azoka. Mm. I just want to take the opportunity to say good morning to him. Is I he celebrating something? No. Okay. I, I don't. I don't think when I greeted you, you are celebrating anything. Oh no, we are wearing white. That's why when you greeted me, I are, you, are you celebrating something? Yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> good day. <laughs> Well, this is the most amateurish attempt by any government to, to, to pull a wool mm -hmm. on the faces of citizens. And I say this really? for, yes, I, was, I say this for a reason. 
And before I make any comment, I just want to make references to two security aspects. Mm. One, I listened to him on Joy FM, and one, I listened to him on your mm. medium yesterday. Mm. The gentleman on Joy FM, who happens to be a military colonel, I've forgotten the other name, but something Abuaji, okay. who happened to be a security Festus aspect, Abuaji. Festus Abuaji, okay. who said that it was you know, premature for government mm. to come out with the kind of statement government <coughs> came out with, and he expressed his shock that this could be considered mm. as an attempted coup okay. or a planned coup. Mm. You know, and if you listen to Adam Bona, I think that's the name, yes. he Adam said Bona. on a medium yesterday that even what they retrieved cannot destabilize the palace of a village chief. Really? Yes, he said it on your mm. medium, yeah. that it can't destabilize the palace of a village chief. And it is particularly worrying at a time when we have all agreed to charter the part of democracy. Mm. This is a slap in the face of democratic growth, not only in Ghana, but in the continent of Africa, that you have an incompetent government that thinks that they need to divert attention over justifiable demands that the people of this country are making on the inept handling of security in this country. And they think that they can make this statement and say it. Is this, is this situation not worrying? To have people manufacturing rifles and explosives. They manufacture rifles. Mm. By the way, they themselves have indicated that this is a local gun manufacturer. Mm. We have them in this country. Remember in 2015, mm. then Kofi Bwachi mm -hmm. was the Ashanti Regional Police Commander. Right. They arrested a Burkinabi mm. with huge arms, arms that were capable of shooting down even planes. Mm. This was what the, the, the reportage we got. Mm. But we never said it was an attempted coup. Look, it is very clear. And interestingly, my good friend Kujo Pong Kuruma mm. is, is losing it. He's losing his credibility mm. because many people thought that at least he was one of the few credible persons within the NPP. Mm. Unfortunately, he's losing. For them to put out such a statement for me is shocking. They need to tell us how, who were those seven military officers that they claimed mm. in that statement that the people contacted. We need to know, right. as part of transparent governance, we need to know who those seven people were. Mm. So what it means is that barely a year in office of this government, mm. there was a plan to topple the government. Okay. The people of this country know when they would topple this government. They would topple this government on the 7th of December mm -hmm. 2020. The people of this country can no longer tolerate the corruption, the thievery that is going on in this country, the inept, the inability to handle security situations in this country. And they know that the only way you can change a government in this country, through the ballot, this government doesn't care. They do not care the consequences of it internationally. They do not care the fear and panic that they will generate as a result of this reckless and irresponsible information that is put out Let, there. If you have, please, if you have any information mm. that people were planning to do such a thing. You need to tell us what the plans were. Now, look at the, the items that they exhibited. And that is why people are trolling this government on social media. Now, you find all manner of things that people put out there. Kitchen, bontua. People mm. even use bontua as that a means of overthrowing this mm. government. It doesn't mm. agar well for our democracy as a people. It doesn't agar well for the democracy of this country. At a time when people have inbuilt or embedded mistrust for politicians and they are waiting for every opportunity to point out how distrustful politicians can be. Mm. You don't give people that opportunity. But are, you know are, why, you, are you not worried you know about why, the modus by, operandi by of, of this of this group? I am saying uh, that who who government tells us are connected to some terrorist groups. Look, look let me be very honest with you. Mm. The security and the safety of this country it is not the responsibility of one individual or one political party. It is our collective responsibility that all of us, whether NDC or NPP but I'm saying that people expect to know the truth. They were, they were working from at inside any point the hospital. In time, at any point in mm. time, when people are caught with arms, even a knife, mm. that can mm. injure somebody. Well, we are not dis disputing the fact that you ought to arrest people who are engaged either in manufacturing mm. arms or in the pos possession of arms right. illegally. Right. But when you come out and put a story out there mm. that you know in the heart of your heart that it is just a diversionary act that is because there is so much pressure on this government on the issue of instability. Mm. What is more destabilizing than a government training terror groups? 
who indeed masqueraded as national security operatives, who unleashed violence on people, who came just to demonstrate and to undertake a democratic exercise. Yet the same government set up a commission to investigate the actions of those people. What has happened to the findings and the recommendations of that commission? This government has shredded almost 60% of the recommendation of the commission. Was there anything that was more dangerous and destabilizing to our democracy than that? But you see, okay. you, let, let me, me make this last one. You see, me, one thing uh, I've observed from my friends in the MPP mm. is that lies and truth is so embedded in their lives and way of doing things like that. Going against this is like fighting a monstrous wave in the middle of an ocean without a, a life jacket, mm. swam by, sh by sharks. That is precisely what they are doing. They cannot do anything without coming out with a spin. It doesn't agar well. And I have this simple information for you, my you, good you friend. Doubt, you doubt the arrest of I'm not the only people. person. I'm saying that that is why I started by making references to two security aspects. Right. Perhaps if I sit here and I make mm. that comment, some may say, oh, it is just politics. I am talking about security aspects. Right one of whom your station interviewed yesterday mm. and he said that the items retrieved the weaponry or arms retrieved cannot even destabilize the palace of a village village chief how can you put such a statement out there don't you think that it can even it's tantamount to inviting people to engage in things that are extremely unlawful okay you see, thank you it is important Mokutala, John, let, me, thank let, me, you. let me just land on this you have landed seconds. three times it already because you have asked me a question again and i needed <laughs> to explain it is unacceptable it doesn't agar well for this government itself mm. and for the peace and stability and to sum it up this is a slap in the face of democratic enhancement and development in Africa. Mm -hmm. That international community sees that Ghana, which is one of the countries that has the most stable democracy, mm -hmm. at least we have had a change of government mm -hmm. from one political party to another two times in our young democratic uh, uh, dispensation. That you come out and say that, yeah, after all, international community, here we come. Our democracy is not even stable. There are people who are planning to overthrow a democratically elected government. The people of this country cannot wait for 2020 okay. Thank you. to boot Very out the uh, Council, is this premature as, as the security experts <coughs> are indicating to suggest that there's a coup attempt on government? And is it also true that government is diverting our attention from what we need to be talking about? Okay. <clears throat> so what basis would government have in diverting attention? A government that is on course and taking responsibility for fallout, mm. which is expected in every governance, mm. it cannot use diversion as a tool for its success. Mm. From the initiation and successful implementation of the free SHS to a point where infrastructure mm. has also become key in this government vision for the development of this country, mm. including the, the, the construction of an interchange in Tamale, mm. which has commenced. Mm. <laughs> Negotiations with the Sino Hydro for major developmental projects, mm. which the NDC somehow think that is not going to happen to taking practical steps mm. at industrializing this country the niep is there helping the youth entrepreneurs encouraging them mm. to get into the private sector is that why people want to overthrow the government i'll, I'll get there but well, i'm he, trying to do that he permission. alleges he alleges mm. that this is being used as a diversion and that is not true mm. You reiterated that point for me to answer. Mm. And I'm letting you know that various programs as enshrined in our manifesto are being implemented mm. one after the other. So there is no, there's no need at all for government to panic and think that, hey, let me do this and you know, I'll get the sympathy of the people. Okay. Uh, these are not light issues. I mean, they're not matters that... Uh, any any government would want to throw out and and gain anything out of it. Mm. Uh, you, you get the point. Mm. So I'm trying to tell you that as part of the modus operandi of the NDC, they will not come on the table for us to 
even build a consensus on the matter or agree to flash out some miscreants who may want to create some sort of confusion in the system. Mm. Why? Recently, recently, a tomb for whom all revere, respect, mm. had the, the privilege of addressing the UN and spoke about the happenings in Ghana. Mm. The NDC, typical of them, got it all wrong and started attacking the man. All of them. But two forces is beyond politics. I, I wish we would leave <laughs> what I'm saying. Out of I'm trying to give you. I'm trying mm. to. I'm trying to give you examples. They are kind of so that they are, I they land are, on the they point. Their character. I mean, what they do. Mostly. Their party. To them, it's all about them. You've ruled Ghana, eleven years, eight years, another eight years, and you think that you are the only one who who, who is supposed to be in the hub of affairs. That that's all. How does that answer the question so, of? That is, why, that is why they would create the impression that, oh, somebody would want to divert so that uh, uh, a certain impression is created and that, you know, they are going to win at all costs. So why are you diverting and there's all that? No, does, we don't need that, it. Does the government the, know why the point, somebody would the, want to overthrow the, the point, you the, when, when you are doing a good job, the, one after the other, fulfilling oh, your manifesto? Is it always about that? No, I don't know. No, so of I'm course, but you. it can never be. The issue is national security has successfully foiled an attempt <laughs> to destabilize the peace of this country. Whichever form you want to take it. Mm -hmm. As for peace, it's something that we cannot measure. Okay. All right? Cool. And I'm saying that if our security operatives have successfully managed a situation like this for 15 months, and with video evidence, mm. with everything they've managed to get hold of these guys. If you want to even disturb the palace of a village chief, mm. a community leader, by doing so, you are creating instability. Okay. True or false? But this one is targeted I am, at the president. I am, no, no, no. I just want to fall into their metaphor okay. and say that, okay, if that is what you want, that's the comparison you want to, to create. Let me go for it mm. and assume that it is a stakeholder in a certain village. Is it justifiable? So, as for the NDC, right, don't expect them to commend, to applaud, mm. to say, that, oh, as for this one, it is good. The fact that even free SHS is still being condemned should tell you the nature if, of their thinking. If, if this quantum it's, of, of, it's, it of guns tell you the and explosives are able to scare us to say there was a coup attempt, then we should be concerned about the, the security with, around with, the presidency. With, 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 with respect, mm. with respect, the language used, the language used mm. must be properly be understood. Okay. Daily guide. Mm. Daily Guide mm -hmm. was careful in the language it used. Okay. Uh, 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 Kroma chose his words carefully. Mm -hmm. Any form of destabilization. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Cannot be an acceptable norm in any democracy. Okay. The fact is, the state security apparatus mm -hmm. has been able to fall an attempt by a group of persons mm. to create some problems in okay. this country. Mm. They have told us, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. that they took 15 months mm. to do all the monitoring, surveillance, and all that. Okay. Rather, instead of the NDC, perhaps, mm. commending government that, look, okay. you have invested so much in security, at least through such investment, through such motivation, mm. our security apparatus was able mm. to do such a thing. I, I want to go back to the uh, the piece that Please. the information minister put Please out. Put it out. And uh, he that's the second um, the second paragraph or uh, like two it says the joint operation was to neutralize an elaborate plot targeted at the presidency 
and with the ultimate aim of destabilizing the country. The arrest and seizure come after 15 months of surveillance and gathering of evidence on the activities of prime suspects and persons. And I'm asking if I'm saying that the quantum is the quantum, yes, he chose his words, but yes. his words are that uh, this was to neutralize an elaborate plot to targeted at the, the presidency. presidency. Now, so I'm if asking, you just, I mean, Jubilee is right here, mm -hmm. yeah? So if somebody, if, 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 even if two people manage to break the, the security. Is it easy to break through I'm the saying president's that security? Even, of course. The reason oh. why the, the, the security uh, network was able to deal with this is to tell you that it's not easy to do that. Mm. So the fact that it's, it's been exposed should not appear as easy for you and for anybody to run a political commentary okay. saying that, oh, as for this one. And I dare do security, so-called security expert. Sometimes, <laughs> unfortunately... The, the canal. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. You cannot, if you've been, if you, if you've been in the security system mm. and you really know what goes into it, mm. with all due respect, unless some politics, as we found in the IGP's executive secretary, mm. who suddenly became a party candidate, ah. and now we could now go back and look at all his comments that he was making as if he was a professional. Now we could see that, oh, all these were tainted with partisan political consideration. I am saying, it does, it I am saying, yeah. I am saying, please, with respect, allow me. I am saying that a responsible security aspect mm. will not come out and make such a statement. Look, you, you become... No, you no become, you become You become a lieutenant. Uh, I am and, saying and that... After four years, you become a captain. Please. After I, four years, you become... Uh, a major. After another four years, you Forget become a lieutenant colonel. After four years, you become a colonel. That's twenty years of experience, and you're saying that I am saying. And you're saying that. Let me let, let me let me repeat the point mm. so that you you get it. And those who also intend to blend their professionalism with partisan interest to make mm. comment mm. to also move in carefully. I am saying there is nothing wrong with a security expert coming out to make a statement okay. on a national issue. Mm. But if you listen to them carefully, clearly one cannot but conclude that indeed these are partisan comments. They are not wholly professional opinion. And that is the point I want to make. Okay. Huh. I, I'm, I'm no, 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 no serious security expert mm. will run such a commentary. Quick, and I'm telling you. Quick question to you. Why is the information minister the one speaking, not the people who actually conducted the, the uh, investigation? The police, CID okay. has a PRO. BNI has defense intelligence, has the, the military PRO. Why are the experts not speaking and government is speaking? I mean, if the atta attack is aimed at government... Government shouldn't be telling her own story. Somebody should be telling the story. The professionals who went down, don't you think so? Oh. I don't think you really want me to answer this no, question. No, I want you to No, no, answer. I don't think you really want me no, to no, answer this a, question. No, no, it's a question that I want you to answer. I, I don't think you really want me <laughs> to answer this question. It's a question that I... But if you, if you want to use it as a basis to get something from me, I would simply put it that, look, the information minister coordinates all communications of the state government, whether CID, uh, BNI, whatever, they all report to a political leader. Mm. They put out their information. That is why the national security system, mm. per our constitution, it is the president, commander-in-chief, all right, mm. the head of everything. They brief you, mm. all right? Mm. So are you saying that the president, upon receiving a brief, mm. the Information minister being a member of cabinet mm. with a mandate to coordinate government communication, coming out to put that information is wrong. Is that the point? I'm not suggesting. Yeah, perhaps you're no, no, but that point. is that. that you're you're missing my point. I'm saying. I'm not missing your I'm point. Saying that, so. I'm saying that. You're saying that why didn't he leave it for the CID or the, the defense intelligence or mm. the mm. military mm. to the come BNI. and speak? Right, right. And I'm saying that all these people work together. And they report to a common boss. Okay. That forum where they report, the defense minister is a member of cabinet. Okay. National security minister is a member of cabinet. Mm. The national security minister receives briefing from all these units, mm. doesn't he? 
the interior minister is also there. So for you, there's so nothing am, wrong. How can there be anything wrong with okay. respect? Thank you. John. Butala. Well, let, let, it, we'll, we'll need to change the topic. No, so, John, I need, to, I need to make some comments on it. You know, is it, I will not deify oh, clearly. any any Can partisan I? comment oh. from any so-called oh. uh, expert. Okay. Thank, thank I will not deify okay. their partisan thank comment you. because we've seen some before. <laughs> when the executive secretary to the IGP oh. was making certain comments in the in the public domain, writing oh. certain you know things on social media, as if oh. as a professional police officer, he was expressing genuine. Concern on a national issue, we saw. Okay. And later, when he was asked, ah, but you, 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 you just resigned," yeah. he said, "Oh, he's yeah. always been a party member." You are not. You are certainly not heaping scorn on his Thank expertise. I'm not saying so, okay. but I'm saying that when you lace it, okay. when you dilute it with your partisan interests. Okay, that, thank you. We would not deify thank you. those Johnny, comments Johnny, okay. as Johnny, though they you. are very it is uh, honest. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. We need to switch. Even when you switch. gave me a minute, he mm. came in. You allowed him. So no, no, no. So now I'm minutes. giving you a minute. You no. waste all the time no. debating. Now I'm giving you a minute. Minute, it minute, it minute. Is, it is minute. Very Speak, make your You guys are being petty. Oh, it is very clear that government hope of winning the 2020 election sank in the sun. But what they simply are the doing... The campaigns haven't begun. Why are you... It is very I'm clear. Can, it is very clear that their hope for winning the 2020 election sank in the sun. And what my my friend and brother is doing, and I guess most of the MPP, mm -hmm. you know, super incompetent communicators led by another super incompetent minister of information okay. is to maintain an imperturbable state of calm and some confidence. It is very clear. Now, what he succeeded in doing, he succeeded in questioning the integrity of independent state institution. Johnny, the day last week, I sat on this program, and I said that His Excellency the President knew the whereabouts of the Takuradi girls, oh, right. and I gave reasons. Mm. The reason I gave was that the Minister of Interior, the Minister in Charge for National Security, the police, I, the IGP, they, all of them, they report to the President. Right. At least the Minister of Interior and the Minister of Nation, in Charge of National Security, they mm. brief the President every single day. Right. He has just confirmed it today that at the time Tiwa held that infamous press conference, mm. telling the people of this country that they knew where the girls were, the president knew. So President Nanado must tell us what he knew about the whereabouts of those girls. It because it has been confirmed that the president knew. When I made that statement, many people thought it was just political. He has confirmed that statement today. He's talking about Asante Hine. It's a matter of constitution. Please, please, please. You are talking about Asante Hine. Gabi Ochirudaku and Asante Bidio too. They insulted the Asante Hine. Have you forgotten? I don't you want us to go there? there. No. no, no, I won't. You I won't. are now. I'm I, just. Make, I'm just no, reminding you. But let me make, let me make this point. I won't. You see, he's talking up, and when you talk about everything, he mentioned free SHS two times. Mm. For them, if a gamma lizard, more paper. When you are talking about, how do you mean? You know, a student went to write an exams. Mm. He prepared on a gamma, a gamma lizard. He went. A gamma lizard was never brought. Okay. So in order for him to pour what he's, he learned, mm. he took the paper and said, "If a gamma lizard, more people." And he started writing everything about gamma lizard. That is what is happening with our friends. <laughs> everything you talk about, even if a woman gets a miscarriage, is about free SHS. If your business is not doing well, free SHS. We are talking about security decay. We are talking about a fear that your government itself, mm. you know, unfairly and unjustifiably told the people of this country mm. that there was an attempted coup. You have an opportunity to explain and to provide further and better particulars as to the information you have with regards to that so-called coup. You're okay. talking about free SHS. Thank you. you see, it Thank is you very, very clear. It is Thank very you. clear that What's this government doesn't have vision. What's applied is 0201 That's our what's applied. Join us with your thoughts and comments. And let's get to read them. That page 20 of the Daily Graphic. They cannot vote for 2022. Out. Wait. So, yes. are you suggesting they that cannot wait for, no, let's, they, let's, they cannot wait, wait for, for 2020 20, 20, to vote you out? What grammar is that? No, let's appreciate it. What they appreciate cannot what? wait. No, no. Let, let's get it. I, the I, people I, of I, no, okay. the people of this country okay. it's cannot an attempt, wait. It's an attempt. It's, no, no, no. It's, 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 it's an attempt. 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 You see, no, no. I don't understand. Vote you out happened. Vote you out in 2020. No, no. You said they cannot wait for 2020 to vote you out. So what? Page 20 of no, the uh, Daily Graphic no, newspaper. I, no, no. Uh, uh, no, no. We, we, we need to move on. Johnny, he wait. doesn't want to Johnny, wait. Relax, relax, Johnny, relax, wait. relax, relax, relax. Johnny, wait. Relax. Step by step. Relax. I have a I right of rebuttal. Okay. I have a right of rebuttal. What, what is your rebuttal? We are talking about, we are talking about these gentlemen, Mark 
No, but I think we move no. on, please. No, no, no. We're, no. we're, we're we spending half we of the time. We are talking about Ezra Kafui. No, no, we are talking about people arrested so far. You ended up questioning the integrity Mark, of independent Mark, state Mark, institutions. Ezra Kafui. I think I should. Okay. I think I Thank you. Your microphones, gentlemen, are off. No, I think I'm made. Okay, the, the, page, page 20, Mutala, sorry, page 20 of the Daily Graphic says, Jospon Group John, reacts John, to takeover of Aquitia Mine. Now, the Jospon Group of Companies uh, Limited has responded to the government's takeover of Great Consolidated Diamonds Ghana Limited. It said the government, through the Divestia Implementation Committee, had acted without following due process. According to a statement, and, and I have the full statement, by the way, uh, according to the statement released by the Jospon Group, the issue of the legal legality of abrogation was before the uh, law court and therefore it was wrong for the government to take over the company. So we understand that we had uh, some military men uh, led by SIGA who moved in there, Rambo style, took over, set up a nine-member interim management committee and uh, the adjustment group says what they did was wrong and the allegations of the fact that they moved in there and then they uh, threw away all the equipment at the time, uh, which were functioning properly, was wrong because the equipment at the time were obsolete and they had to dispose them of. But I'll start this one with you. Again. I was, you gave this, me the right of You start this, with me again. Yes. I no. thought he should be providing us with the information as to why the government is engaged on state capture, that businesses have been collapsed. So that, I'm starting private with you. Ghanian, I'm, I'm starting private Ghanaian businesses have been collapsed every single day because they think that they must collapse businesses and build an empire. That is precisely what this government is engaged in. So I thought you would have started with him to furnish the people of this country why they are engaged in state capture. So start with him. You so started, you, you yes. don't want to start? Yes, you should start. I started the first topic. He is in government. He is speaking for government. He may have information that you and I do not have. He should answer the question why... So, so if you, if you make your submission, if he has further information, you will add on. No, I want him to start. You don't want to start? No. You, are you waiving your right? Why should I waive my right? I'm saying that he should start. Well, don't I'm I have the, the right I'm, to I'm suggest to you? I'm saying start. Thank you. A, a, a dictatorial I'm host. not. I'm, no, I'm that just, is what you have I'm just principles, that's all. But I'm just saying that, look, this is just a litany of several examples. Mm. You remember the case of Ibrahim Mahama? Well, you remember this gentleman? Mm. I'm not a fan of just one group and company. I have had a lot of issues with them. Mm. But I'm saying that every single decision that is taken by this government is geared towards destroying Ghanaian businesses. Mm. Interestingly, one of their fellows on Good Evening Ghana mm. pointed out how this government is engaged in destroying Ghanaian businesses. How many banks have they collapsed? They have collapsed those banks, and which banks are they benefiting? The collapsed banks are benefiting foreign banks in this country. So they just clap for them to go ahead and implement what is disastrous to the people of this country. You cannot indeed spend about 18 billion Ghana cities for the purposes of correcting, if you like, wrongs <coughs> of about 7 billion Ghana cities. So there is nothing much to say on this issue. It's just to point out the justification. And the man has indicated that what you did was unlawful. What you did was wrong. What you did was unacceptable. You see, we live in a country that is not governed by rule of law under Nanado. We are governed by the whims and caprices of the king. The president operates like a king, like, an, like a monarch. Yeah. that he thinks that he can rule by the rig of red. That is precisely what this government is engaged in. Now, do you know the number of people who indeed have lost their livelihood as a result of some of these disastrous decisions that are taken by this government? And this is just one of such examples. Now, they have no problem getting Chinese to come and take our resources away. They have no problem getting financial institutions that are not indigenous, that will not engage in what indigenous financial institutions and businesses can be engaged in. Just recently, there the owner of the is it data bank mm. one you you interviewed him on your ut bank ut bank, UT bank. it i felt that crying as a matter of fact i shed tears Kofi yes i never met the gentleman mm. i have no relations whatsoever with him but i asked myself how many do we have to destroy because you have a minister of finance and a government who is running a family and friends government that doesn't care about the concerns of people who are engaged in businesses. Yet same people will come and tell you that, oh, the revolution overthrew this, these businesses were collapsed, A, B, C, D. In a democracy, you still have in some this of these case, things the, going the on. government says, look, you are not being viable, even though Jospon says we're making every effort to be viable. 
Um, but the government says, look, you are not making it viable. And that is why SIGA was, for example, set up to make SOEs viable. Then we must as well mm. give up this country because this government is not viable. Nothing of this government is working. Are you Secu sure? Security is a disaster. Economy is a disaster. Even what they are touting, the only message they have, which is the free SHS implementation, which is something that the NDC never had any problem with, by the way, but disastrously implemented. And the position as to how disastrously it was implemented was not an exclusive position of the NDC. Even experts who people who have expertise in the area of education all pointed out to some of this. By the way, the Chief Justice herself even recounted some of the challenges. The Minister of Finance, who is the paymaster of this government himself, said that the the FSHS was a disaster. You sit here and then you talk about that. If you want to let's assess talk, institutions, about, uh, if, you want to, if you want to assess institutions, mm -hmm. the viability of people who are engaged in businesses, and by that reason, if we think that or we suspect that you cannot be viable, then we must have a different entity run it. Then we must as well indeed privatize the, the presidency under this government. Because it's a disaster. Tell me one thing that is going right in this country. Tell me. You think Tell this, me one you single think this policy. You think there's an attack on Just Bond Group uh, with respect to the Akwitiya mine? It's not only just one group. That is why when I was I started with the discussion, okay. I said that this is just a litany. Mm. I mean, this is just one of the numerous examples. Okay. You interviewed the gentleman the, right. the, on, your, on, your, on your program. Right. And it is not only on this station. Several other stations, Ghanaians have expressed concerns that if you do not have Ufuriata attached to your name and you have any businesses, that business must be destroyed. And that is precisely what this government is engaged in. You can mention about six or seven Ghanaian businessmen mm. who are complaining and lamenting about decisions that are taken by a government that came with a huge hope, mm. trying to promise the people of this country their interest was to see how best they could help businesses. Unfortunately, everything in this country is being subletted to Chinese and other foreigners okay. at the expense of Ghanaian business. But let me make mm. this last point. If you look at certain financial institutions that operate in this country, mm -hmm. or certain businesses and investment, mm -hmm. as long as the profits that they make are going to remain in this country, mm -hmm. it is better for us. You don't need Economics 101 to tell you that these particular decisions mm -hmm. are absolutely illogical. Maybe perhaps we need to get Adam Smith to come and take us through. You see, Johnny, mm -hmm. that is the difference between economic talks and economic implementation. Every single promise was made when these guys were in opposition. They told the people of this country how inept the NDC was. Mm. They told us how we're not managing the economy. Look at sector by sector. The NDC is far better managers of the economy of this country mm. than this incompetent government. He should answer the last question. One single benefit. Are you, are you setting questions on my show? <laughs> maybe, for what? Since you ask questions, I can't ask questions. Or he's immune uh, well, of questions well, well, now. Is that what you said? What question do you want to ask? I'm saying I want him to answer one simple question. Okay. Whether in, in the heart of his heart, he thinks that preventing Ghanaian businesses, regardless of the challenges that those investments may have, mm. it will be good for this country, or getting Chinese and other foreigners to take them up is better okay. for the survival Council, of Council, let's start this way. The Jospon Group says what you're doing is unlawful because the matter is before court. You are a lawyer, uh, thankfully. Now, do they have a point in, in raising that concern, knowing that this matter is before court, SIGA has stepped in to uh, institute a, a, an interim nine-member committee to handle it. The hospital in that area has been shut down, and, and they say, well, you're going against the law, government. You should know better. Okay, so let me start from the question that uh, Motel asked. Oh, you answer my question. I prefer that on this platform, instead of making sweeping statements, mm -hmm we would rather be speaking to the issues mm -hmm. and supporting our argument with facts. Okay. So I would want to throw back a question at him. Mm -hmm. Which Ghanaian business is government collapsing in favor of a Chinese business? Can I answer? No, let me finish, please. There is no such thing. Mm -hmm. Two, on the banking sector, decisions taken by Bank of Ghana. Mm. With all due respect, in 2015, when President Mahama appeared before Parliament mm -hmm. to deliver the State of the Nation address, mm. he made it clear to the people of Ghana through Parliament that the challenges in the sector mm -hmm. was as a result of poor supervision by Bank of Ghana. These were his words, poor supervision. 
by Bank of Ghana. I was in Parliament, he was in Parliament. Question is, soon thereafter, upon acknowledging that failure on the part of Bank of Ghana, what did the government do at the time? Conditions continue to deteriorate. So the question is the ESLA, which is why the ESLA was set up. No, no, it cannot be. You cannot use ESLA to talk uh, about, I mean, I Bank of Ghana. Why, why well, I mean, why it, can't you? It, you know, I didn't really Mutala, keep, allow, quiet allow him. Mutala, you but know, I, I interviewed Mr. Tekpe here, and that's what he told see, me. He if said, he, he, ESLA was one of the interventions to ensure that we solved that problem. That problem which was created by them, that they said that <laughs> our bank, the central bank failed to supervise, failed to do due diligence in issuing our licenses, failed to do diligence, do due diligence in doing audits and all that. And you think, I, I, I respect uh, Seth a lot, is a very good friend, but I can tell you that you don't expect an all-out objectivity mm -hmm. because he was at the finance ministry. His own party people was, were calling for a sack. Who, who called for a sack? No, please, we know. I mean, who? please. Okay, let's, let's, so, let's so, not digress. So, let's come back. Yeah, exactly. So, so, says so, so, government so, is doing, so, perpetrating so, an illegality so, when a matter is before court and government steps in with SIGA with guns and, and and all of that, set up a nine-member committee, sack everybody, take over their phones and their company vehicles, and just one says, that is wrong for you to do. You are a lawyer. Did government do wrong? You see, I, I, I needed to finish the point so that I come to that. I would definitely deal with the issue. So we don't have, have all the yeah, time. We, of, that's course, why, that's of course, of course, <laughs> of course. So that's why we are having a conversation. If we are unable to finish, we'll continue at another time when the opportunity <laughs> avails. The point I'm is, the point is, Interesting. the intervention made by the government mm -hmm. was so necessary for the stability in the financial sector. Do you know that depositors mm -hmm. who would have lost their money mm -hmm. are today getting back their money. Are you aware? Even even that no, no, well, I, the I, finance I, minister and the vice president have put up conflicting figures of how many depositors you, let, can, had been saved money. And I'm, that's I'm the say, key question. I'm, I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that people who would have otherwise lost their entire investment mm -hmm. have started receiving money? Let's not talk so, about some, somebody figure. told me yesterday that he has over a hundred thousand and he, he has been, been paid ten thousand. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That that is not a lie. I am saying that. So if where's the, the ninety thousand? I am saying that if he had been, well, government has come out with a plan. Said that look, we gave a promise that look, Ghanaians are not going to lose their money. We we'll take the first step. Mm -hmm. The first step has been taken. The government has demonstrated good faith. Mm -hmm. Payment has hit the account, and they acknowledge that yes, I've received. So somebody who had ten thousand has had all her money being paid. Somebody who has had 5,000 has nothing to worry about. And bear in mind that those in the informal sector mm -hmm. who have small, small monies, at least if the threshold, the minimum is 10,000, that any amount below would have had his or her money. Mm -hmm. So at least that is a, a big plus. Okay. Would, we, would we, the NDC, we, we have explained this enough. NDC Thank you. Uh, let's, let's talk about just Bond. Would we, would we, the, no, no, no. Wait, would yeah, the, would let, the NDC I, acknowledge please, that? Please. Would the NDC mm. even, please, I'm, I'm making you a point. No, but would see, the NDC we, even we comment cannot government? spend all no, the let's time. let's just come back to the point. Thank you. Let's talk the, about just Bond. Just Bond. Did, did no, government do wrong when the matter was, and I'm putting a question again, this matter is before court of competent jurisdiction. Government is aware of this. Just Bond is aware of this. Why then would SIGA go in there with guns, seize phones, a cars, wipe away everybody, and set up a nine-member interim committee when government is aware that this matter is before court. Did government do wrong? You're a lawyer. I'm asking you this question. I have seen the statement at page 20 of graphic. <coughs> I don't know whether you are reading from some other document. I could give you the, the original document from where graphic did the story. No, I'm talking about Jospon. Right. Yes. So I'm seeing the original where, document. Where is Jospon talking about guns? It is in there. No, it no, because I'm there. reading from, so you read it. Okay, out so I'm going to read to you. And, uh, da, 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 da. 
Well, it's quite lengthy. I hope I... Yeah, so just let's immediate. start where they said that. Okay, so it says, The action of SIGA is illegal, unconstitutional, and regrettable in a nation that is governed by tenets of democracy. On Thursday, 18th of September, 2019, executives of SIGA, assisted by the BNI military apparatus, illegally entered uh, the GCDGL premises, took over the security of the mine, closed down all the offices, seized all uh, staff vehicles and mobile phones, threatened staff, and closed down the only hospital which serves the community without regard for the patients who were receiving treatment. We wish to state that at all times due notice was not served on the company. This conduct created pandemonium in a rather peaceful community and deprived the community of very livelihood and facility that given them uh, over these years. Consequently, appointment of the interim management committee by SIGA is void and has no legal basis. SIGA issued a statement. Well, I haven't seen the SIGA even statement yet. Even in the defense. I don't, I don't see the uh, SIGA statement. As, as, as SIGA issued a I statement. I have not seen it, but it is important yeah. to know that government acknowledges that they are in court, they have filed their, defense. their answer. No, so the point is that you have listened to a company on one side that has issued a statement. I don't know when this statement was issued, though. Mm. This, this was issued, uh, let me check, was it yesterday? Right. Yes, it was issued yesterday also. Right. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, I'm saying this because you are asking me to make a comment in my capacity as a lawyer. Mm. And, ask and with, please, uh, with all respect. Allow him, please. The training given us is that we must listen to all sides. Okay. If it's, I should answer it as a lawyer. Or the other pattern. As a lawyer, okay. then it is important for me to hear the side of Sega. Okay. Instead of listening to just one mm. and then saying that, oh, then just uh, Sega is wrong. Okay. Sega has aired. I wouldn't be, you know, honoring that law lecturer who taught me. Okay. Well. As a party communicator, what do you say? <laughs> As a party communicator, my response simply is that let us wait for SIGA to also respond to this matter. SIGA must respond. Okay. So you're saying that until they speak, uh, you doubt the chronology of act activities that... I have not said so. Speak. I am saying that there are two sides to a story. Okay. The company has issued a statement. Okay. Fair enough. SIGA, you know, the reason why I'm cautious is that I know Asamoah Bwati and uh, Mr. Japon. Mm. I know the two of them. Mm. And I, I know that they have a friendship of mutual respect. Okay. And I know that uh, Asamoah Bwati, as a head of that institution, mm. being accused, mm. will uh, tread rather cautiously mm. in dealing with a matter as sensitive as this. But government has not government uh, has not denied the fact uh, that uh, SIGA has taken over. No, no. The, you are you are bringing you are bringing in a new thing. Mm. I am saying that there are allegations in the statement, specific allegations. Mm -hmm. It's different from saying that oh, you've taken over. Mm -hmm. For I mean and you are you are talking about public policy as 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 the as as the main reason mm -hmm. for for doing that. You are talking mm -hmm. about the overbearing interest of the state mm -hmm. to say that look you want to take such an interim decision okay that is not about the point uh 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 uh, uh, uh just one is raising mm -hmm. just one is making specific allegations right one that they came in with guns mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. seized mobile mm -hmm. phones mm -hmm. seize our vehicles even people at the hospital mm -hmm. were denied health care Right. These are specific allegations. Absolutely. And I'm saying that, to be fair mm -hmm. to SIGA, mm -hmm. to be fair to the head of that institution, mm -hmm. Honorable Asamoah Bwati, and I'm saying that, as a matter of fact, the relationship between so you, Asamoah Bwati and you want, you want to hear from SIGA before you make a, a statement? It's not that I want to hear. It is only fair. Were you not the one who raised, quoted the Latin... Uh, 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 maxim, mm. or the ultra party. I, I, I heard it in school. No, no, but you just quoted. Oh, yes, it. Is it? it is it not? Is it not fair right. that? 
Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, so yeah. we've heard your comments. A party must be heard. Thank you. Or parties must be heard. No, no. He doesn't have comments. What? Johnny, he's, when, when is your party? When Johnny, is your party apologizing Johnny, to your Johnny, team? Johnny, Johnny. When, when is your party Johnny, apologizing he, to your can, team? Can I answer? He's one of the few guys in MPP okay. whose profundity of thought I have so much respect for. Mm. But politics can turn people to all kinds of things. Why? In a matter of an this, so is, this statement is a black man. Hold on. In no, a no, matter. No, 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 I want you to. Muta. Which, which said no. This you is a black man. Really. You Why, just. I, no, no, no. I have so much. No, 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 no. Please, I said you are one of the few guys within no, the MPP. Please, please, please. Don't start. Of talk. Don't start. Don't I have so much. No, 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 no. Oh, then Mutala. I have done that. I don't have any. I don't have any. You've just suddenly changed your mind. That's why we are telling you. It means that you are not. You are uncomfortable. Even your view. Your view is not what you are. Wait, I am saying that. Make your point. No, no. Make your point. No, no, Mutala. Make your point. Okay. Without this foundation being laid, uh -huh. this foundation you are my, is a foundation you are my, of mischief. Thank you. And I'm saying Th thank you that for even you, doing what you, I was you, doing. You, you, uh, of course. Mm. Of course, it's clear. I'm saying that you, your party, mm. looking at the, the Please, you won't do that and would take you, over. Please. Would you, would you, you, would you ever listen. commend this government? Hold on, hold on. on any hold, hold on. I did commend this government. On what? What did you commend this government? You know why? You know why? Listen, on the same platform. In a matter of two people being accused or three people for staging a coup, you, did, you didn't listen to them. You just had the version of government. Yet you said they were going to stage a coup. What a hypocrisy. Oh, come on. You got Please, me. what no, a no, hypocrisy no, no. on this program. You told the, us that the people are were planning point. to stage a coup. No, no, these are disjointed. But on this issue, issue you are telling us no, that, no, no, oh, no, no, these are disjointed. Oh, please. No, 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 these are disjointed. The listening you are, public, you are the listening public, on this, missing on this same platform, you, are you missing. said that as a lawyer, you will be doing great disservice to those who taught you law. Come on. If you go no, ahead no, no, to make an inclusive statement, no, 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 haven't no. not listened to that, Sika. That is wrong. But that in is the wrong. matter of three other citizens, no, that is wrong. who in, indeed may be charged for treason, mm. which is more grievous than this matter we are discussing, you haven't listened from them. I think you have you to listen to government version. Okay. You listen to government version, and you. you make conclusions. Thank you. Mutala, you see, Mutala, you see, Ochiman, you see. Ochiman has given your party three days to apologize for the several comments of Kwame Zou. Are you apologizing? First and foremost, first and foremost, I think that we should get something very clear. Which and is? I'm being very careful in wanting to comment on issues that border on, on chief chances and others. And I say this for a reason. One, I'm a royal, and I need to be very, very careful. Why? If anybody who is in any political party makes any statement against any traditional authority, the party must apologize. Then the Ochima should be asking the NPP to apologize to the Asante Hini for, for, for Gabi Ochidaku and Asante Bidu to insulting him, in which the Asante Hini himself publicly, in a rare, rare, rare incident, publicly stated how he was undermined. I think that this thing should, the gentleman made statement, the gentleman apologized, he apologized unreservedly. He apologized how? Did he go to the palace? To I'm saying, why? He didn't go to the palace to make that statement. But he, but he, I, I'm I, saying that he didn't do, go. Do you think he should go please, to the please, palace he didn't, out of reverence? That is a decision. For the, for the that, is the decision the that is the decision he has to take. But I'm saying that the, the gentleman. The party is not concerned. I'm saying that that is the. Party the is please, not please. To, why? To, do you know the number of statements people have made who belong to MPP against traditional. Does it make a right? No. I'm saying that once a person makes a statement in his capacity as an individual, must we now look for the political party? the person belongs put the shirt that's why he I'm stood the, on your that platform. is why he stood why? on your platform the gentle the asante bedio too and and Ochiri daku are not just mpps they are close family ties of the president they insulted the asante Hine. did the Ochi man ask the mpp to apologize to the asante Hine? i think that this hypocrisy must stop i will condemn any statement that is made against any traditional authority and I can tell you that I wasn't comfortable when I had the gentleman made those things. We ought to respect those institutions. Okay. But he has apologized. And even in tradition, mm -hmm. when someone commits a, a, a crime or, or says something wrong and apologizes, now why would you now say that the NDC as a political party should apologize when the gentleman never said he was making that statement okay. for and on behalf of the Thank NDC? You. I think Very that we, we are Thank overstretching you. this. Counsel, he has apologized take, take and I think for me it's enough. On this one, uh, is, Butala says they have apologized. There's not Nothing more. Um, so Ochin, Ochin and his people should not expect uh, anything more. No, for, it's the decision. I don't. I don't speak for the NDC okay. as a political party. Okay. The national but, executive. But you are here on behalf no, of the I'm NDC. saying that the national executive take decisions. Mm. I am not a national executive. Also, what I have just said is that that statement the gentleman made. He so, so what is the position of your party? I'm saying that. You are here on behalf I'm saying that. I'm saying this story. We got this information this morning. Right. The, the gentleman. Oh, no, this the, is been in the news. I'm saying that the gentleman today. apologized unreservedly. What I can say as Mutala okay. is that I would just plead that the Ochiman, the traditional council, mm. 
would understand that that apology. But if you are, they are now demanding that the NDC as a political party mm -hmm. should apologize, then we must as well go back and look at the insulting statement made by Gabi Ochodaku and, and Asante Bidu to against the Asante Hine. Mm -hmm. I think that we are overstretching some okay. cases. Council, tell the clergy secretary to bite on this one. Uh, well, Ochiman is demanding for an apology from the NDC, which Allah says, well, the individual has apologized, so let it go. Well, we should learn to respect uh, traditional authority and all stakeholders as political stakeholders. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this whole thing uh, is, is, is not about going to the extreme mm. in, in, in defense of a cause. Okay. But... Uh, I don't want to defend that cause. I condemn... No, Allah, no, no Allah, it's Allah, not, not Allah. in reference to you. I mean, generally. Yeah, I condemn... G generally. It's, it's generally. Not for you generally, to so making a statement that is that is insulting. Yeah, generally, authority. so condemnable. I think the gentleman has apologized. Yes. Okay, and the party uh, would 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 reflect and say that look, uh, this thing we want to uh, do the apology on our own letterhead. Okay, it will serve a greater good. Okay. It will be like President Muhammad himself, you know, uh, going to Otum for to say look, mm -hmm. although I authorized Julius Debra to use my letterhead. To, to issue a statement, okay. and uh, I turned a blind eye when Omani Buama ah. also wrote calling you a liar. I have reflected, who called, who called and upon liar? hindsight, your I national think chairman insulted. Can I finish? Oh. Insulted. Okay, okay. Thank your you national very much. chairman insulted uh, to be uh, affected and Thank said you. that he was like a Thank one driver. Much. Did uh, you guys apologize? Your national chairman. Your national chairman insulted an industry, and also the NDC member aspiring to go to parliament. On behalf of no, the the, uh, the NDC, party for the, uh, the Tamale Central the constituency, the honourable <laughs> honourable <laughs> Alexander Kwamina Fenyomake is a lawyer. He's a member of the ND, NPP's communication team. He's also the MP for F the Futu constituency. Gentlemen, thank you very much I'm for your no time.